Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2017 Panini Donruss Football. Five box blaster edition, random team break number five from a fresh case. So fresh and so clean. First 18 spots, guess what? You got a shot at an extra spot. So let's take care of that first. So from Guy down to Sean, everyone in between. Up there, you got a shot at that early bird. Put you in a different list here. Let's roll it. Let's show you all the names right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Seven times, two and a five. Name on top gets the early bird, a special spot, the worm, the extra after seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, name on top is going to be Anthony. Anthony Peretti, congrats to you. You've got an extra spot. The early bird catches the delicious, delicious worm. Mmm, worms. All right, let's grab all your names here. And let's get you into this list here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a three, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four. And ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Aaron down to Eric. Six and a three, nine times for the teams. Good luck. One, two, three. And a ninth and final time. After nine, we got the Saints down to the Packers. All right, so for five box, Blaster, random team number five from a fresh case, 2017 Panini Donruss football. Just regular Donruss football. All right, Aaron with the Saints, Guy with the Washington football team, Gary with the Eagles, Christopher with the Dolphins, Anthony with the Chiefs. There you go. Guy with the Bills, Anthony with the Chargers, Matt with the Oakland and Vegas Raiders, Christopher with the Bengals, Anthony with Houston, Jeff with the Giants, Buccaneers, Oh, and wow, got the Texans opportunity, the Sean Watson opportunity too. Jeff with the Giants, Sean with the Buccaneers, Anthony with the Rams, early bird spot, Mike with the Titans, Andrew with the Broncos, Jarrell with the Colts, Brian with the Ravens, Jeff with the Jags and Panthers, Matt with the Seahawks, Karen with the boys, Gay, uh, Guy with the Patriots, Gary, that is, with the Browns, Matthew with the Bears, Brian with the Jets, Sean with the Cardinals, Gary with the Lions, Andrew with the Niners, Daniel with the Vikings, Gary with the Falcons, Allen with the Steelers, and Eric with the Green Bay Packers. A lot of words there. All right, let's get all this on one page. Let's sort by column B by team. All right, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the five box break. Stick around. All right, folks, while people are trading, we're going to pop open this fresh case of 2017 Donners Football Blaster Edition and see which uh, five boxes we're going to do. Here's five boxes here. One, two, three, four, five. You can see the top camera right there, too. There's five right there. There's five right here. And that last row will be five as well. Five, five. All right. So from top or, or back to, to bottom right here, one, two, three, four on the dice roll, right? And we're gonna select, we'll select that die right there. So once again, if you look in the top camera, one, two, three, and four for this row right here. If I roll a five or a six, I'll just roll again. And it's one. So the back row right there, and this 
We'll save for next time. All right, so that's the that's the five we're going to do right here. All right, I'm going to pause the video again, see if there's any trades, and when we come back, the break itself. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but at the end, no deals were done in five box random team number five. The next five boxes are up right now on jazbeescasebreaks.com, so this list remains the same right here. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. So this is break five. So break, uh, break five, six, seven, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, breaks five, six, seven, and eight will all be from the same case that we just opened up not too long ago. Good luck, folks. So twenty seventeen. Let me just refresh myself on this draft class. So I think, obviously, Mahomes and Watson are the big ones here. Oh, right. Christian McCaffrey's in this class. Evan Ingram, TJ Watt, but Dal Dalvin Cook. That's right. Dalvin Cook's Juju Smith-Schuster, Alvin Kamara, Godwin, Hunt. All right. So those are some names right there. Obviously, all, all the rookie cards will ship, so don't worry about that. Only the uh, vet commons won't be shipping out of here. Tyler's asking, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? I'm going with the Chiefs. I think that's hashtag good for the hobby. All right, if, if Patrick Mahomes wins the Super Bowl, wins another Super Bowl, second Super Bowl in a row, and if... Uh, and, you know... And if he wins Super Bowl, he's probably winning Super Bowl MVP. So I'm rooting for Patrick Mahomes, even though he's a division rival. But for some reason, I don't I don't hate the Chiefs as much as I would hate, say, the... Like, if it was the Broncos, I can't go for the Broncos. Like, uh, I just... And the, and the Chargers won't get there in my lifetime, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, there's rookie threads, Amara Darbo, Relic. I know, I mean, you should never count Brady out, but I've had enough of that guy. <laughs> Hasn't he had enough? Seahawks, Matt Lieber with the Hawks. There's Kenny G for the Lions. And Louis for Gary. It's Josh Malone. And we've got Brian Hill, rated rookie. You wanted to get seven? <laughs> there's Evan Ingram. I kind of don't. And there's Samaj Pirine. I guess, although I do like him more that he's now that he's not in the Patriots, but I still can't get get Tom Brady Patriots out of my head. So nothing too crazy here. All right, another box. 
That's right. Your Nick Stanley's a Lions fan, so he suffers enough. And actually, and you've never been you've never been hurt by Tom Brady. <laughs> How do you feel about uh, Jared Goff going your way? You guys, you guys, Lions got a lot of picks too. I think I don't actually know any Rams fans, but I, I would assume that they are that they are the talk radio seems to be happy about about Stafford being here. People trash Goff so bad, but he has playoff wins. He went to Super Bowl, so you can give him a chance. Who's the offensive coordinator there? I think that's going to be the big thing. The big reason, the big reason, uh, you know, Goff wasn't here because he just couldn't grasp the. And I'm sure Sean McVay is a pretty complex playbook. He's he's like kind of like Gruden in that sort of sense, but there's only so many things that that. Goff was able to do, and they couldn't expand the playbook with Goff, or there wasn't enough progress in, in, in McVeigh's eyes. So that's why uh, I think they were looking for other options. You know, there's rookie phenom Deshaun Kaiser. Oh, that's right. Anthony Lynn is the offensive coordinator now. That could be interesting. Anthony Lynn as a coordinator. Speaking of the Lions, there's Jared Davis. Press proof to 100. Well, Anthony Lynn has definitely seen Goff a number of times in the same building. We'll save the rookies. Christian McCaffrey right here, too. I know. I think, I think Goff isn't terrible, though. He's, he's, he's pretty... He's pretty middle of the road, I would say. He's Evan Ingrams so will go to the Giants, Jeff. But it's not like he's green, you know what I mean? And I think that, that that's a point that you made too. You know, he's been to the playoffs, made Super Bowl appearance. He's definitely not green in that sort of sense. So it's not like you're going to get someone who's wet behind the ears, you know. I, I think players, for the most part, seem to like Jared Goff. He, he wasn't really a troublemaker. He's a professional, says all the right things, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully that continues in Detroit too. But um, but I think that's not a bad thing to have that just kind of a steady, experienced player kind of out there with that experience on that team could be a good thing. Yeah, exactly. That might fuel him even more. Yeah, he he might he might think. This might be best for all parties, you know what I mean? Matt, Matthew Stafford gets a shot. He'll he'll get regular what, he has what, two, two, three years left on his contract with LA, so you know, he might even get an extension, but but I mean he's definitely getting you know, unless something goes disastrously wrong, 
But as long as he stays healthy, and he's some pretty relatively durable, I would think that he's that team's automatically in the playoffs. In uh, that Rams team's automatically in the playoffs, so he'll get plenty of playoff experience. That's for sure. All right, next one this is Wayne Gallman. What I think is going to happen with Wentz and Rodgers? Uh, speaking of Carson, there he is, right there. Don't know. I, I think I think I think the sexy story is that yeah, you know, like Aaron Rodgers is gonna get traded. Where is he gonna go? And that's gonna sell headlines and newspapers and clicks. And I think Rodgers ends up just staying. I can't imagine. I can't imagine the Green Bay Packers even getting close to any kind of value with Rodgers. There's Kareem Hunt, Anthony with the Chiefs. Let's see if we can find his teammate. Wentz, I don't know. Wentz, I think, is even more of a... is definitely a question mark. I don't think... There's Juju Smith-Schuster, too. Steelers, Allen. I don't think the Eagles are actively... you know, trying to trade Wentz. I think they want to try to get like a... see how Wentz does with a fresh start. Different coach, different staff, different approach. I think they maybe like the idea of a little quarterback battle. I don't know if they think Jalen Hurts is quite ready. You know? He looked good at times. But I don't know if he's quite ready. So I think they kind of still want to have Wentz around. But his rookie threads, Mike Williams is going to go to the Chargers. That'll be for Anthony. But if someone made them a great offer... Then maybe the maybe the Philadelphia Eagles will pull the trigger. I mean, in a weird way, if you think about it, they might get more out of Jalen Hurts in a trade, right? So imagine what Jalen Hurts could bring rather than Wentz. So what if you get Jalen Hurts and you move him, and you get you get draft picks, you get a receiver that you need, you bolster that Eagles defense, which is already pretty solid. But Jalen Hurts turns into picks plus, you know, maybe a receiver, a pass catcher or two for Carson. Maybe some offensive line depth. Depth. That would almost make more sense, to be honest with you. So, Nick, you read an article saying a former teammate and close friend with Rodgers says he's not too happy. I wouldn't be happy either if I'm Aaron Rodgers. So that would uh, not not deaths depth. O line. I don't I don't want any O line deaths, Rebel. I agree with you. I want everyone to be alive, happy, and healthy. But depth is certainly a good thing. Yeah, but if I'm Aaron Rodgers, yeah, I'm not I'm not happy either. It's hard to demand a trade. You don't want to be that guy. Call you crazy, Nick Stanley saying, but you can see Wentz in Indy. I can see that too, and Rodgers in San Francisco. I think if the Green Bay Packers trade him, I don't think they want to trade him to an NFC team. Just like how Deshaun Watson is probably not going to go to Indianapolis. David Yoku. And Nathan the Peterman. Rookie Phenom Relic for the Bills. Guy with the Bills. Buffalo! Did I see the TikTok video of Aaron Rodgers in the back of a truck with a case of beer? Good for him. Enjoy that off season, Aaron Rodgers. What kind of beer was it, Tyler? There's Mac Collins. Return of the Mac. There's Malachi Dupree. Some Bud Light. Nice, good. Nothing too heavy. 
Allen Robinson, Noah Brown. Come on, no Mahomes? Deshaun Watson, maybe? It's Buda Baker. There's Amara Darbo. That's a catch. But Someone was saying earlier Cousins might be traded from the Vikings. And Marlon Mack. Return of the Mack. All right, last blaster box there. We were uh, we, we made a list on our break schedule that's pinned in the chat right now. If you click the 2021 NFL HC tab, I also added a quarterback column. And if you look at it, there's a lot of teams that need quarterbacks. I don't think I've ever seen this much quarterback need uh, in a long time. Or so much quarterback movement that could be possible. Is there always this much? I don't think so. Right, Justin? Yeah, it's going to be an interesting year, he's saying, to see where everyone's going to go. So everybody except, like, Cowboys, Andy Dalton, stick with Dak Prescott. Do you go with someone else? I can't imagine the Denver Broncos are happy with Drew Locke, although I'd be happy for them to, for them to keep Drew Locke as a Raiders fan. Aaron Rodgers has a semi-question mark around him. Deshaun Watson has definitely asked for a trade, so, so Houston needs a quarterback. Colts definitely don't have Rivers. He doesn't have a, they don't have a quarterback. Are the Miami Dolphins happy with Tua? Minnesota might have. Patriots don't have a quarterback. They have zero. They have nobody. Is Drew Brees going to retire? Sam Darnold might be moved. You know, I mean, Deshaun, until Deshaun Watson is signed somewhere, I feel like there's a lot of question marks. Anyone could be traded now. Daniel Jones could be moved. Sam Darnold could be gone. What about Big Ben? What if Deshaun Watson wants to go to Big go to Pittsburgh, and the Pittsburgh has the package ready to go? You think they politely ask Big Ben to retire? You know that's possible. San Francisco, their 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 quarterback situation is not settled. Does the Washington football team want to try to go for an upgrade to to Alex Smith? As great as Alex Smith's story has been, a lot of question marks. Well, yeah, Lonnie, exactly. Don't sleep on Wentz, he's saying. He didn't have any receivers the last couple of years. So that's all I'm saying. There might be more value trading Jalen Hurts right now with how how well he looked last season. Now might be the time to trade Jalen Hurts, who still may need a couple more years to marinate. There's Leonard Fournette, press proof for the Jaguars. He's in the Super Bowl. That'll be for Jeff Click. Just hold on to this, Jeff. Or just think about this, Jeff, in the Super Bowl. If he goes off, well, if he wins MVP, what, what if for some crazy reason Leonard Fournette wins Super Bowl MVP? There's Mike Williams. And we got a My Homies Relic coming up. My Homies. Rookie Phenom Relic. So at least something, Anthony, with the Chiefs. So Mike Williams as well, C.J. Beathard. Right, Minshew might be available as a backup. Mixon is that the free? Yeah, that's the first Mahomes. Even though it's just a relic, first Mahomes in the num like twenty five boxes. Well, we we got the we got the rest of the case, ladies and gentlemen, to search for Patrick Mahomes. Keep trying, boys and girls. Another five boxes in the store. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, and we'll break more of that with you next time. Bye bye.